if you look at the companies that are represented in Breaks India, Breaks India, etc. In earlier shows, it was more an OEM kind of uh, supply display that we had. And we have been by and large uh, OE based suppliers. This show, we had a more of a focus on trailer manufacturers because Europe is also a large trailer market. And the number of trailer manufacturers who are represented here are quite huge. So we we earlier used to show individual products of wheels, brakes. In the last show that we were in, we had wheels and brakes together. This time we've also brought in the concept of a dress axle, which is a trailer axle which has the brakes mounted on it and wheels on the axle. So we, we can supply an end-to-end -end solution is kind of the idea that we're trying to portray. From the wheel side, we have uh, we are manufacturers of steel wheels and aluminium wheels. We've been exporting steel wheels to Europe from the 90s onwards. So we have on display some of our existing products and new products. We've also been fortunate to win some OEM in business, so we've also displayed those products on the steel side. On the aluminium side, we display the wheels that we supply the trailer industry by the large. We are large suppliers to a couple of big trailer manufacturers, and uh, that is in a sense what we presented here. In addition to these, we have also Axles India has also uh, participated in terms of the axle part of the test. Yeah. Uh, so, from a Breaks India perspective, and while we discussed some of this earlier, uh, we have a few new products that we're showcasing. One specific to Hanover, the European market, that's completely new. This is the air display, right? So we have launched air display in India earlier, but we have now come out with a specific design that is tailored for the European trailer market. It's a single piston, uh, 22.5 inch wheel fitted air display. Uh, we've optimized it. We've done a study of all the other products in the space. We've actually, we have a great team that's optimized it to make it completely lightweight. So we think it's a great fit for the European trailer market and for India for lighter duty applications. So that is something we are um, launching now. In addition to that, we had also started developing an entire suite of products for the air braking system. So this is from the v then brake chambers and spring brake actuators, uh, all the way to the control valves, uh, as well as the air dryer. Now these are things that we can look at supplying as part of the test axle when you look at the chambers, but also as fitment for trailers and OEMs on the air braking side. The Brakes India Foundry is also represented and I think here we already have a very large presence in Europe. Right? We supply almost 60,000, 70,000 tons of plastics to Europe from India and uh, our plant in Oman. So here we've showcased the purely commercial vehicle range of products which you know we supply to a couple of OEMs and we have interest in a lot more right now in Europe. To start off participating in a show like this, it's been three years since there's been a show. And uh, the important thing when people come to shows is to try to look at who's still there. So you need to show that you are still present. So uh, that I think is an important statement from, from our side. But what we'd like to show our European customers is the increasing capability that we have. We're bringing in new products, new solutions for them. And we're trying to widen their mind in terms of what they can look at us and what they can expect from us. That opens business opportunities going forward. A few things that I would just add up. One is on terms of scale. I think for us, the Indian market has developed significant scale. So for us to serve other markets is, you know, an addition in some ways to what base we already have. And that is something we're actively pushing. The second one is, I think, the increased capability. You know, we've always been good on quality and delivery from a certain angle. I think the aspect we are adding to it that Stewart's mentioned in terms of products, right? A lot more design capability. So we are able to take their requirements and design for them, not just multiple. So I think that is a big aspect. Look at means in there, we export more than 25% of our sales last year. Sales, export sales exceeded 1,000 years. Well, we don't have a target per se, 
It's not unforeseeable to see a one third of our business coming from international markets. It, it really depends on how the economy is also moving. Like standing on the cusp of what is potentially a recession in Europe and North America. But uh, we look at servicing the market primarily, keeping our customers happy, and making sure they meet their yeah, so from a Brexit India perspective, um, this year we'll probably hit about 1,400 cores and exports. Um, so across all the divisions, we have Foundry being the leader in exports. Um, again, for us, I will concur with what Srivat said is that it is very market dependent. So, you know, we have a pretty strong ambition to grow exports in Europe as well as in other geographies where we are not as present. So we will look at the US and Southeast Asia as uh, potential future markets. So for us to potentially in the next five years, you know, what we've talked about is overall revenues doubling, but exports being a bigger driver. So maybe even tripling to uh, be a big driver for growth. Right? Um, again, very much market dependent, but that is the aspiration and how we're approaching the market.